So I'm going to give you a little update about kind of the pediatric trends and, and what we're seeing that's different compared to previous uh, COVID infections. Uh, obviously, things are a bit different with the Delta variant, and what we're seeing is a lot more uh, infections and, and transmission between children than we saw in the past. Part of that's because obviously more uh, people 12 and above can be vaccinated. And what we're really seeing is especially those younger patients under 12 are spreading the Delta variant because it is very contagious, but also they're obviously not vaccinated. So because of that, we're seeing a lot more emergency room visits. We're seeing a lot more admissions. We still have a fair number of admissions to our floor and to our pediatric intensive care unit that are the 12 and above. But as Dr. Priest said, what we're seeing is if patients are admitted with acute COVID infections into our hospital, 95 to 99% of them are unvaccinated, whether it's a younger child or those in the age range where they could be vaccinated. Clearly, this is kind of a strange time because normally in pediatrics, it's very seasonal. And typically about now is, is when it tends to be quieter in the hospital. But because of COVID and all of the other infections that probably were somewhat limited in the past because of the, the mask wearing and social distancing and hand hygiene and everything that we've done over the last year and a half, we're seeing co-infections. So we're seeing COVID, we're seeing other infections such as RSV that are really, really prominent right now. And while we are at capacity and have been and throughout North Carolina, pediatric hospitals as well as PICUs have been at capacity, we still have some flexibility uh, to move things around to take more patients. But I, I think people need to understand that it really is at a point where we are quite limited and it's not just COVID, it's other infections, but COVID obviously adds another you know, 15, 20%. And it obviously adds a wrinkle into this because some of these patients can be so incredibly sick. You know, we're seeing now that over a quarter of infections with COVID are pediatric patients. And fortunately, it tends to, to be still uh, prominently, you know, predominantly a, a, a bigger issue for adults in terms of, in terms of death or serious illnesses. But when you have over 25% of the cases are now pediatric, we are definitely seeing those numbers rise. And we expect over the next few weeks, probably for those numbers to continue to increase in pediatrics. But the numbers of fatalities tend to still be quite low in pediatrics. Boy, the safest route for school systems to take, particularly during another surge, is to do those things again, that we know we all want kids to be there in person. Uh, we know they need those interactions. Um, but it's best to take precautions like we did before because they've proven to be effective. Um, so from my standpoint, um, I would encourage all school systems to mask, make sure they're, they're following kids who are sick, make sure those kids stay home, do some contact tracing, uh, do a lot of things we know work. It seems like a strange time to abandon the things that have been proven over and over again in school systems around the country to be effective.